in this video, we'll share the top 17 things to do in Osaka. At number one, we have Universal Studios Japan. This theme park has become a major attraction in Osaka. It draws millions of visitors annually, offering experiences themed around popular franchises like Harry Potter, Jurassic Park, and Super Nintendo World. At number two, we have Osaka Castle. Osaka Castle, a symbol of the city's historical significance, has seen action in several wars, including the Second World War. The castle's museum offers insights into these conflicts. Visiting during spring rewards you with the sight of cherry blossoms in the surrounding gardens. At number three, we have Shitenoji Temple. As one of Japan's oldest temples, Shitenoji offers a peaceful retreat in the city. The temple's history and the nearby garden in Tenoji Park make it a worthwhile visit for those seeking tranquility. At number four, we have the Umeda Sky Building. The Umeda Sky Building, standing at 568 feet, is a marvel of modern architecture. The Floating Garden Observatory on the top floors offers breathtaking views of Osaka, making it a must visit for anyone seeking a unique perspective of the city. At number five, we have the National Museum of Ethnology. Known as Minpaku, this museum is an extensive research center focusing on Japanese culture and global ethnology. It's an enlightening visit for anyone interested in the diverse aspects of human society. At number six, we have the Tempazon Ferris Wheel. Offering stunning views of Osaka Bay and Kansai International Airport, the Tempazon Ferris Wheel is an extraordinary 100 meters in diameter. The 15-minute rotation provides a serene experience, allowing you to appreciate the city's coastal beauty and its bustling airport from a unique vantage point. At number seven, we have Dotenbori. Known for its vibrant nightlife, Dotenbori is a hub of activity with numerous food stalls, bars, and neon signs. It's a place where you can experience the lively side of Japanese culture, from themed bars to street food. At number eight, we have Sumiyoshi Taisha Shrine. This ancient Shinto shrine is known for its unique architecture and serene atmosphere. It's one of the oldest shrines in Japan and offers a glimpse into the country's spiritual and cultural heritage. The peaceful grounds are perfect for a reflective walk. At number nine, we have Osaka Aquarium Kaiyuken. Situated on an artificial island, this large aquarium showcases diverse marine life from different ocean zones. It's an educational and entertaining experience, emphasizing conservation and species preservation. And now a word from our sponsors. When it comes to traveling, one major risk that many people overlook is cyber hacking. Public Wi-Fi networks in airports, hotels, and cafes can easily expose your data to hackers anywhere we roam. Even using mobile data makes you vulnerable to potential surveillance and intrusions. That's why protecting your privacy with a VPN is absolutely essential when you're on the move. And that's where private internet access comes in. PIA creates an encrypted tunnel to safeguard all of your online activity whenever and wherever you connect while traveling. So no more worrying about your passwords, bank accounts, emails, or personal info being intercepted over an unsecured connection in a foreign country. PIA secures all your browsing and blocks anyone from tracking your location or logging what sites you visit. If you're looking at traveling soon, then Private Internet Access is offering three months free on their subscriptions and 82% off if you use one of the links in the description. So now you've got your VPN, let's get back to the video. At number 10, we have Abeno Harukas. The tallest skyscraper in Japan until 2023, Abeno Harukas offers panoramic views from its observation deck, Harukas 300. For thrill seekers, there's the Edge the Harukas experience, which involves walking the edge of this 300 meter skyscraper. At number 11, we have Shinsaibashi Suji Shopping Arcade. This bustling shopping arcade is the go-to place for fashion, souvenirs, and local snacks. The street is lined with a mix of traditional shops and modern boutiques offering something for every shopper. It's also a great place to experience the lively atmosphere of Osaka's shopping culture. At number 12, we have the Cup Noodles Museum Osaka Ikeda. Celebrating the invention of instant ramen in Osaka, this museum offers an interactive experience where you can learn about the history of this iconic food and even create your own custom cup noodle. At number 13, we have Hozenji. Located in the heart of Dotonbori, Hozenji Yokocho is a serene spot where you can offer prayers to Fudo Miu, a Buddhist deity at the temple before exploring the lively restaurants and shops in the narrow alley. At number 14, we have America Mura. This trendy district is Osaka's answer to Tokyo's Harajuku, featuring coffee shops, boutiques, and tattoo parlors. It's a hot spot for the city's youth and a testament to Japan's contemporary urban culture. At number 15, we have Kuraman Market. This lively market is a food lover's paradise, offering a wide array of fresh seafood, produce, and street food. It's a great place to sample local
local delicacies and experience the bustling atmosphere of a traditional Japanese market. At number 16, we have the National Bunraku Theater. This traditional Japanese puppet theater, originating in Osaka, offers a unique cultural experience. The intricate craftsmanship of the puppets and the storytelling are a testament to Japan's rich performing arts heritage. At number 17, we have Shinsekai. This retro district offers a unique look into Japan's past, with its nostalgic atmosphere and vintage charm. Shinsekai is a vibrant area, filled with quirky shops and local eateries, making it a fascinating contrast to the city's more modern districts. So that sums up my top 17 things to do in Osaka. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.